the UAE Armed Forces are expecting their communication system now. Currently deployed in many countries around the world, the military's need is greater than ever. By having this capability operated and controlled within UAE, this will provide independent, reliable means of communication at a time of need. Having already taken delivery of the first batch of ground terminals, they are training to be battle ready as soon as the satellite comes online. On Exercise Falcon, these Special Forces troops are using a temporary link to another satellite to train with the new terminals. It will allow platforms in the sea, in the land, and in the air to communicate on the move. That will facilitate information sharing, especially in joint operations. This Joint Ops communications exercise is a success. With effective communication, a Special Forces soldier's life is saved. We have a high confidence level that we can deliver on time, assuming everything goes as planned. And we are trying to maintain this. Construction on both the control center and the first of the two spacecraft is nearing the final hurdle. Yasat, Abu Dhabi's first satellite company, is halfway to its dream. Launching a satellite into orbit is a violent and dangerous procedure. The kind of uh, harsh environment the satellite will go through during the launch is something we can't imagine either. The satellite will undergo 4.5 Gs of thrust. The sound vibrations alone can kill people too close. And sometimes it all goes horribly wrong. Once the satellite has survived the launch, it enters orbit. It has to be tough enough to endure 15 years of constant use. To build a satellite, you need first to design it, which takes approximately the first year. Then you need to assemble it, which takes another year. During the last year, you are trained to break. It will be subject to extremes of temperature. 180 degrees Celsius in the sun. And on the dark side, colder than any environment on Earth. 